All right, man, peace. So, brother, this is going to be another entry into the series, Never Fight Over a Woman. And what you'll notice is that whenever I make another edition for this series, I always capitalize the word never in the title because there is never a reason to fight over a woman, brothers. I cannot stress this. I cannot accentuate this enough. There is never a reason to fight over a woman. I have to make the distinction between over and for because when you're fighting for your woman or for your family, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're protecting your property. When you're fighting over a woman, you're fighting over a piece of property that disputes that they belong to you. Whenever a woman is willing to dispute that she belongs to you, you know why that is? It's because she does not belong to you. Never hesitate to let her go. Never fight to keep a woman who does not want to be with you. That's part of the makeup breakup ritual. They need to break up with you intermittently in order to prove to themselves that they have the power to engineer your mind to accept that you're below them and that you're supposed to respond to their whims. That is a way to break you down spiritually and mentally. It is very unhealthy when you allow that to happen. The main thing that a woman is supposed to be able to do is communicate with her man. If she cannot communicate with you, it's because she does not respect you. So you must make sure that you respect yourself. Communication is very important. We both have to know how to communicate. And what you'll notice, especially with many of these modern liberal females, they can small talk all day or they can ramble on about their frustrations in their life. But when it comes to constructive communication, it is very difficult for them to do, especially when they're accustomed to being surrounded by negativity in their upbringing or in their previous relationships. But just to get back to the point, brothers, never fight over a woman. And we're also going to get into the concept of brotherly respect. I'm talking to you so-called black men. We have to learn how to respect one another's property. And that's one of the main reasons why they push this notion of female independence. They do not want the woman to look at herself as the property of her man. And they do not want the man to believe and understand that his woman is his property. Once they get the woman to accept the misteaching that she is an independent and sovereign entity and that she's only with the man while she feels like being with him that means that you can never develop a stable relationship with the woman because you are not the head if the woman is the head of your relationship it will never be stable because no matter what she states she's never going to respect a man who is not her head even when she proactively tries to depict herself as being as smart as or smarter than her man no matter how much a woman is intelligent or educated, she still wants a man to be her head subconsciously. But once again, pay very close attention to some of the allegations that will be made by the two super liberal Caucasian Jewish hosts on the left hand portion of the screen. They're going to push a lot of simp doctrines, which are super liberal slash Luciferian doctrines and ideologies that are being taught to males in this society which is one of the main reasons why this confusion persists. There's no order. We don't understand how to respect one another's property. When you read the Ten Commandments, and I state this in many videos, it states, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, his ox, his ass, his manservant, and his maidservant. Why is that? Because those are all the property of your neighbor. Your neighbor being another man. You understand that? So you just can't look at the woman and say, oh, you know, she got a fat ass, big titties. I'm going to take her from this dude. This dude is a lame. And if he don't like it, oh, well, that's one of the main reasons why we have so many problems in the so-called black community. We do not have respect for one another as brothers and what is ours. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. Scary story involving Eagle superstar Fletcher Cox. Who is a monster on the field. He's a scary guy on the field. Even scarier if you're trying to break into his home. Because that's allegedly what went down in the Philadelphia area last week when some guy with a baseball bat showed up to Cox's home. And for many of you brothers out there who remember, I did a video called Should Men Fall in Love? And it was featuring Fletcher Cox. I believe it was Should Men Fall in Love, Volume 3. And they're going to rehash that previous story. Fletcher Cox seems to me to be one of these guys who specializes in trying to take another man's female or not even asking if that female has a man already. 
And that's one of the main things that we always have to do whenever we're talking to these women. And brothers, look, I understand it. For the most part, the woman is not going to be honest about her situation if she's that interested in you. Most of these modern day females believe that they can do whatever they want. They're very good at fudging facts and fudging the truth and trying to obfuscate what their current situation is. They'll claim that they're about to break up with their man or they're in the process of breaking up with their man and that's their version of being honest. Sometimes they'll just tell you they don't even have a man. Meanwhile, they have a dude living with them or they're married or whatever. You never know what the hell's going on. But you do owe it to yourself to ask and inquire what that woman's relationship status is, even though for the most part, she's not even going to respect her own situation. Most, most of these women, they don't give a shit about their man once they get used to him. They're looking for something new. But in order to keep ourselves blameless, we have to inquire as diligently as possible. Just to get back to the point, Fletcher Cox seems to be one of those guys who don't give a shit about, about what the situation is of a female that he's dealing with. And that's going to lead to some problems for him down the line if he's not careful. And he started smashing a car out in front and trying to force his way into the home. At least that's what Fletcher Cox told police. And while this was happening, Fletcher, who was in the house with a woman, says he grabbed a shotgun and was ready to defend himself. And he grabbed a shotgun and ran to the window like Malcolm X. <laughs> Ultimately, the man outside the house left, which is probably smart because if you bring a baseball bat to a gunfight, you're probably going to lose. Right. It's not, it's not good odds if, if those are the weapons that you have. No shit. If you try to go against someone with a shotgun and you just have a stick, you're going to lose. Good job with that one, sir. Fletcher Cox is six foot four, three hundred ten pounds, a beast like you said, Evan. I can't imagine fighting this guy, uh, breaking into his house with no weapon, no less if he has a shotgun. So it, it appears the story is all over a woman, and Fletcher Cox. No shit. What is it normally over? Ninety-five percent of the issues that men have with one another is over the woman, and I don't blame the woman for that. All the woman is is an agent of chaos. She's a professional provocateur, a professional trickster. That's that's what they are. It's up to the man to operate on a higher wavelength, on a higher vibration, see through it, and address them for what they are and handle these situations accordingly. Number one, we have to respect one another as brothers, and a lot of these problems will go away. Nothing wrong here, but apparently he had a woman inside of his home, and the man who was out in front of the home uh, showed up because that woman was his ex-girlfriend, and he was upset when he heard that she was hanging out with Fletcher Cox. So he right. goes to Fletcher Cox's home, brings a baseball... Right, but was that woman really his ex-girlfriend? Or was she someone who was running around with Fletcher Cox and the boyfriend found out about it? I have a hard time, and look, I know there's a lot of crazy niggas out here, but I have a hard time believing that this dude is going to show up at Fletcher Cox's house with a baseball bat or whatever he allegedly had. And this is a female that is his quote-unquote ex-girlfriend. I believe that he caught his girl cheating with Fletcher Cox. That's just my own personal opinion. I could be wrong about it. Either way, brothers, this is supposed to be a cautionary tale because Fletcher Cox, if he's in the wrong, he has to improve his conduct or he's going to create very bad energy for himself down the line. If he's someone who was not aware that this female already had a man or that she had issues with a quote unquote boyfriend, he needs to be more diligent in investigating that. That's something that we all have to do because once again, these, these chicks are here, man. They on their scalawag big time. They, they out here just say anything to get into the psyche of some dude that they find attractive or appealing at the moment. That has rocks, starts throwing rocks at the door and is trying to force his way into the garage. Uh, according to official court documents, the man took a baseball bat and was smashing up the woman's car because he was upset. The man's name in the situation. The man was upset and he was in love. Brothers, you never ever fall in love with a woman. You love your woman, but you love her with your head, not your heart. Your heart goes to the most high. You utilize your head for everything that is earthly and fleshly because everything that is earthly and fleshly is temporary and has to be appraised every day. Once again, the woman is on lifelong probation. The same woman that you call your sweetheart and you're holding hands with, walking through the park and kissing and making out on the park bench and going to the movies and bugging out with and all that shit. You're doing that on Saturday or on Monday, the next day, Sunday or Tuesday, she's, she's trying to be at your throat 
You never know what the hell is going to happen in life, bro. You cannot put your spirit into anything fleshly or earthly because it can and will change. The woman is an open vessel for demons and you never know what's going on inside of her. You never know. You'll end up like this dude right here walking around with a hoodie with bleach stains on it and the dog has to cheer him up. That's why they call a dog man's best friend because the dog is more loyal in this life than most people that you encounter. But just getting back to the point, in this society, this Babylonian system that we live in, this sodomite culture that we're immersed in, and when I say sodomite, I'm not talking about homosexuality, I'm just talking about decadence and hedonism, we have to walk circumspectly, man. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your mind, all right? If you get off point for a moment and allow yourself to believe that you have it all. You're sitting back on your couch with your nice TV and your big booty woman and all that other stuff. Everything will be turned upside down on you. And it's going to be used to test your character. That's what many of those moments that we have to live through in our lives, whether it be getting fired from your job or breaking up with your girl or, God forbid, a family member passes away. All these things are just tests of our character over the course of our lives. Corbin? And he's not a, a small dude. He's a big guy. You have to understand, though, when you're talking about Fletcher Cox, yeah. he, he might be the best interior lineman. Well, Aaron Donald. But he's one of the best linemen. He's a four-time pro bowler. He's a great football player who is a monster physically. Remember what Michael Irvin told us a couple of years ago? He was like, look, man, there's a difference between superficial muscles yes. and functional muscles. Right. That and guy so may have superficial muscles. Fletcher Cox has the other kind, yeah. the functional ones. So Fletcher Cox, yeah, good, good for him. Instead of going out and shooting at this guy and trying to kill him on his on his property, uh, which by the way, in this situation, if it happened the way Fletcher described, he probably is well within his right to. Open if fire. somebody is breaking into your house with a bat in their hand, yeah, I think you you're well within your rights. Well, he, I think that Fletcher Cox understood that the dude was flipping out and he was trying to pump fear into Fletcher Cox. Once again, I have a very hard time believing that this person, Corbin Niyama, was broken up with his girl but was so incensed that he drove all the way to Fletcher Cox's home to vandalize his home. And he was already broken up with, with the quote unquote female in question. I'm more to believe that, and it would not surprise me, if Corbin Niyama was able to break into this girl's text messages or her voicemail and figure out who she was running around with and found out that it was Fletcher Cox and decided that he was going to go over to Fletcher Cox's home and try to quote unquote, take his girl back. brothers. Learn how to let things go. You should never want someone who doesn't want you. All right? I'm going to say it again. You should never want someone who doesn't want you. That's why we have to take our time in these quote-unquote relationships because people change so quickly. And it's really not so much that they're changing. It's just that they're taking their masks off. People walk around with a series of masks on their face. And as they get more and more comfortable, or in the case of the woman, more and more accustomed to you and therefore more and more bored they start to reveal who they really are and it shocks a lot of cats out there because a lot of dudes out here take these women at face value but the question is what does it mean to take someone at face value if they're wearing a mask he called police cops came when cops got to the house they gave chase this guy fleed in his porsche suv and the cops chased after the guy did they catch once, him well once they were able to identify him once they were like confident they knew who this guy was apparently the guy was driving so erratically that they they decided to yeah he's probably crying behind the wheel <laughs> i can't believe this bitch this bitch is with fletcher cox <laughs> he's swerving driving all over the media and shit the dog is probably howling in the, in the passenger seat the dog like roo, roo. <laughs> Nigga, calm down. End the chase because they didn't want anybody to get hurt. But then the U.S. Marshals went and arrested this guy uh, a short time later. So he's he was arrested. ABC Six in Philly actually went to his home and tried to speak with the guy, and he didn't exactly dispute the allegations in the court documents. Look at the dog out front. The dog wants to interview too. I'll tell you what happened. That bitch ain't shit. I know a lot about bitches. That bitch ain't shit. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can do that. You don't want to say anything, man? No. All right. So nothing from him. Not a lot of comments. No denial. Exact. 
that brother, what he needs to do is fall back for a couple weeks, fast, pray, and go out and meet a new woman, man. That's what I tell cats all the time when they go through these quote-unquote breakups with these scalawags out here, brothers. 98% of these females are concubines. Understand that before you even initiate any attempt at a quote-unquote relationship. Take your time with these females. They're not trained to be wives. It's okay. We're behind enemy lines. This is captivity. Stop looking for a five-course meal when you're at war. When you're at war, you eat rations. Get used to the rations. Stop looking for a hearty meal. You're not going to really find it here unless you're very fortunate. The vast majority of quote-unquote men that call themselves husbands are actually simps. They have to supplicate themselves to their wives on the regular. They just don't tell you that. And there's no disrespect to the brothers out there who are holding down their homes and who are the heads of their homes and they got everything in order. Obviously, I'm not talking about you. But the average quote-unquote husband is a simp. He has to be in order to dwell within a domicile with what we call today a modern woman. Because the modern female is easily offended by male strength. So the average man who calls himself a husband or who quote unquote marries a woman, he has to subjugate his manly aspect, his manly nature. And many dudes are used to that already or accustomed to that already because they're being raised in matriarchal households, especially a lot of so-called black men. So that's the condition of the battle dispute either yeah look uh, it, it sucks if if somebody a guy is with an ex-girlfriend of yours that, yes, that, you know, that is in fact what happened it, it's house emotional and try to smash right up. under no circumstances yeah. should you ever damage anybody's property sure. now brothers pay very close attention to what mr michael babcock the super liberal caucasian in the lower left hand corner is stating and even though he identifies as a quote-unquote conservative and claims to support trump as we listen to him speak right here, he's letting you know what his true ideologies are. And that's why not to digress, when I utilize the term liberal, I get many so-called black people on my channel who think that I'm talking about from a political perspective. I'm talking about from an ideological perspective. When you're liberal, you believe certain things that you might not know or are unbeknownst to you, Marxist slash Luciferian. Things like the woman is her own independent entity and not only is she equal to the man but above the man that you have no authority not only over your woman but over yourself and once again let's understand the authority that a man has over his woman is not from an authoritarian perspective strictly speaking but you are supposed to be able to have the final word over the woman in any real rapport and a real woman understands that who's been raised to be a wife you cannot have two bulls in a pen that's why there's so much contention in these households today and that's why they're so easily fractured because the woman is constantly trying to show the man that she can call the shots as well. So <laughs> there are a lot of dynamics that are at play here when you see situations like this. But it's very unfortunate that brother uh, Corbin Niyama, he's going through it. You could tell he got that. My girl just left me look on his face. He's walking outside with the hoodie over his head and he's downcast. Even the dog knows what's up. Like, <laughs> I've seen that look on brothers' faces so many times. And the only thing that I can ever say to cats is that you have to keep your head up and keep yourself focused on the things that really matter. Many times it takes traumatic experiences like that to get brothers to grasp and understand the importance of maintaining the only thing that truly matters, that being your peace of mind. All right? Your peace of mind is the only thing that truly matters because you cannot have productivity and creativity without peace first. You just cannot have it. That's a week in account. You definitely can't break into anybody's house. That is insane and yeah. maniacal. The craziest part about the story of the Babcock is that this is the second time the Fletcher Cox has been in a situation like this. Remember? Fletcher is developing a little bit of an MO. In November. Yep, I did a story on this. It was Should Men Fall in Love, Volume 3. 2017, a man sued Fletcher Cox for alienation of affection, claiming that What's Fletcher that? was hooking up with his wife, that this man was married to a woman who left him for Fletcher Cox, and the man sued Fletcher for getting involved with a married lady. But Fletcher... I don't believe that the issue was that the woman left her husband for Fletcher Cox. I believe the issue is that the woman was cheating on her husband with Fletcher Cox. 
to that was, hey man, she's not your property. Right. She's a, she's a, um, you know, a, a independent lady who decided to make her own decisions. Hey brothers, you hear that? This is part of the simp doctrine that gets pushed that leads a lot of males towards borderline insanity. And I'll be covering this in another video. They speak about why you have these groups now that are starting to become more and more mainstream. MGTOW and Ipmore and Inset and all these other groups that sometimes become radicalized and end up engaging in wanton violence is because in any society where the woman is not moderated is going to create mental instability within the man because the woman was created to bring support and succor to the man. For those of you brothers who have a King James 1611 Bible, I believe in the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 36th chapter, around about the 24th or the 25th verse, it tells us where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled, and he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. The wife was created to bring joy to the man. In a society like this where we're told that the woman is independent and she does not have to get married, you have all these idle 20 and 21 year old and 24 year old young men who don't know how to even get a woman they don't know how to deal with the issues of the woman and they're expressing these frustrations through violence and because america has forsaken its young men you're going to see even more and more violence because the woman is supposed to be coupled with a man she's not supposed to be sitting in some apartment by herself drinking a glass of wine and finger popping herself and then wandering off to deal with <laughs> to deal with fletcher cox after she didn't lie to her, to her boyfriend, told her boyfriend that she's going to her mother's house for the weekend and she's going to Fletcher Cox's house. All right, that's what's going on. The woman apparently did not want to go back to the husband because Fletcher Cox, you know, he got his skills apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's so, going in the bedroom. So, <laughs> guys, gentlemen, it, it's You never ever take advice on women from simps. These two guys on the left hand side are simps. The person at the top left is scared of his wife. The person at the bottom left is scared of his shadow. If, if a guy is getting with your girl, like, talk to your girl. Like. Brothers, many people say that. They say that if a guy is trying to get at your girl, talk to your girl. And you should talk to your girl. Because if she's receiving any of the offers of that man or engaging him in conversation, you have to cut that female off right away. But no, as men, we're supposed to respect one another. I would not advise brothers to go to a man who's hitting on their girl. I believe that it's more important to confront your female if you find out that she's hitting on the guy. And once again, that's to give her her walking papers. Now, if the dude is constantly trying to hit on your woman and she's consistently telling him no, then of course you have to approach that dude and be like, bruh, no, she's taken already. And hopefully he's respectful enough to step to the side so that there won't be any issues. But the main aspect of dynamics like this that we have to grasp is that as black men, as so-called black men, we're supposed to always try to inquire of whether or not the female that's trying to talk to us or that we're trying to talk to has someone already. Because when you put out negative energy and not caring about your brother's situation or his feelings, it's gonna come back to you and it might come back in a very violent way. I don't give a shit how great an interior defensive lineman Fletcher Cox is. He cannot pass rush on a bullet. That's the bottom line. And if he keeps messing around with other men's women, that's exactly what he's gonna have to try to do. That football helmet is not gonna stop a bullet. He has no responsibility to you. Like no, actually he does. As a brother, as a fellow man, as a fellow so-called black man, you do have a responsibility to make sure that you do not try to destroy another man's household. Now, if that female left that man already and he just cannot accept that she's gone, that's a whole other issue. And even then, if you're Fletcher Cox, you have to look at that woman and say, you know what? You have to set your own house in order. Once everything with your previous situation is set, if you still want to try to deal with me then maybe we can do that but you're not going to bring any of your negative energy to me and you know there's there's so many underlying issues regarding storylines like this the pertinent thing is brothers never ever fight over a woman if quote unquote your woman decides that she does not want to be with you anymore it's okay it's all right because when you try to fight to keep that woman 
all that does is incentivize that woman to continue to try to use that tactic to to destabilize you now she's going to start to look for reasons to threaten to leave because she's getting high off of you constantly emasculating yourself trying to force her to stay it's like a baby after nine months it starts to kick because it wants out when the female that you're dealing with starts to complain about everything and become a malcontent it's because she wants out it's okay let her go stay focused on the most high like Mike Tomlin says and this this quote is very very relevant he states about Antonio Brown or he stated about Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell when they wanted to leave the Pittsburgh Steelers he said I don't want hostages I want volunteers whoever's in your life has to want to be there you cannot be wasting your time and your energy trying to force people to stay in your life who don't want to be there because they're not going to be a benefit they're going to be a detriment they're not going to be an asset they're going to be a liability they're going to bring a lot of stress into your life and one day they might bring incarceration into your life or death let them go but anyway peace